Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I am doing your weekly readings, or trying to, um, for the week ahead. Um, at this time, the week ahead is the week of October 14th, 2019. However, whenever you're um, guided to watch a video on my channel, that's when you should, regardless of the time frame. And as always, just keep an open mind, these are general, they're not going to apply to everyone, definitely not in the same way, so take it as it resonates for you, and watch all your signs for a full picture. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Thank you very, very much for the love, I do appreciate it, send it right back to you guys and girls. So, what is coming up for Capricorn in the week ahead? So we have the Six of Swords, so this could be travel or just moving on from something or someone that's caused you a lot of pain. The Strength card, yeah, definitely. Standing up for yourself. Putting your foot down in a situation, turning your back. Queen of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, your energy. You're done with drama, you're done with chaos, you're done with... Uh, uncertainty is what I'm getting here yeah the seven of wands definitely putting your foot down establishing some boundaries um, sticking to your guns sticking to your standards not backing down in a situation it can also indicate success as a result of you walking away from something that is just doesn't serve you Queen of Cups You might be putting your foot down when it comes to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Eight of Cups. You're either kicking someone out or you're leaving. Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles. King of Coins. So we've got Queen of Coins and King of Coins. So for some of you, there's definitely a focus on your love relationships at this time. Establishing some ground rules, putting your foot down. Um, talking about your expectations. Okay. And the Hermit. Virgo energy. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So with this energy, I feel that you, again, it's going back to what we were saying in the beginning, you're tired of uncertainty. You're tired of uh, confusion. You're tired of not knowing. You're tired of um, just, you know, having to wait and see because you're not sure you can trust what the promise is or what the commitment is, okay? So with the Seven of Cups, there could be, what I'm feeling is um, being overwhelmed by choices and that triggers you to go, you know what, I'm tired of this. Um... And it, 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 it's making you reassess things. It's making you reassess things. Because with the Seven of Cups, there's something going on where it's not clear, it's not sure, it's not grounded, okay? So it could be empty promises that come to light, or it could be, you know, someone deliberately pulling the wool over your eyes, or someone just taking too long to decide, or someone, you know what I mean? There's something that is just not quite clear, and you're tired of it. And again, we have the energy of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces um, energy. That could be their sun, their moon, their rising. We have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So either someone's... This is like... Let's agree to disagree, okay? This is where two people don't want to meet in the middle. I'll go my way, you go yours. Um, I do get that this is temporary, okay? Um, but I do get a sense of this can be temporary or it can be for good. These are my expectations. These are my standards. It's up to you what you want to do with that. Okay. So that's the energy I'm feeling with you. So someone might have left or just detached from the situation if they're not actually moving out. But you're at a point where with the strength card and the two of wands, you're looking at things from a different perspective, okay? You're looking at things from the perspective of what, of what you want with the strength card. It's like, I've tried it your way. I've tried to follow you. You've got no clue what you're doing, okay? 
uh, you could be changing your mind from one day to the next or, or I never know what you're going to do type thing. And so with the strength card, I feel that you're saying, you know what, I'm, I want to be in charge. I want to be in charge and I want to make sure things get done right because I feel like I can't rely on you. I can't trust you to get things done. Um, so with the strength card, you're all ready, all geared up, wearing your armor, ready to go to war if you have to over this. Because with the two of wands, something needs to change. For those of you, this could be um, not seeing eye to eye over uh, a change in residence, a change in job, a, a long term uh, or long distance trip. Okay, letting go of what was and starting something completely different. And I feel like there's butting heads when it comes to that not seeing eye to eye because you're dealing with someone who likes things the way they are. You remember the energies can be vice versa. This could be your partner and you like things the way they are and they're pushing you, okay? But you're dealing with someone who likes things the way they are. It's not saying that they're perfect, but it's saying that they may be afraid of change or it just makes them fear, feel very, very anxious. They're doubtful. They're thinking of all the things that could go wrong. And so they'd rather keep things as they are. I do feel that someone's putting their foot down though. Someone's not backing down. With Seven of Wands and the King of Coins. Could be you or the other person. Depends, you know, how things apply for you. But someone's definitely not backing down. I'm getting a, a My Way or the Highway energy where um, someone's saying, this is happening. I'd prefer that you were with me, but if you don't want to, I'm going, okay? I'm doing this by myself if you don't want to join me, if you don't want to support me. Okay, so someone who's just not backing down. And then we have the Queen of Cups with the Hermit, where there may be Someone taking a step back from the situation to think about it, to clear their head. Or someone's walking away from the situation. The hermit is walking your own path, being by yourself, doing things by yourself. Okay, so it's either someone goes within, with the queen of coins and the hermit, to figure out what they're going to do here, because they see that you're not backing down, or vice versa. Or someone's actually walking away from the situation because they don't want to back down either. So you might see a temporary separation here. Just depends who you're dealing with and how stubborn they are, okay? Or how much they value your connection. We do have the Four of Swords here as well and the Knight of Swords. So there's definitely some conflict going on. And the Knight of Swords is very much my way or the highway. If this is what I'm doing, you're either, you know, get on the horse with me or get out of my way. That's definitely that energy. And with the Four of Swords, it's either someone's waiting for this for too long, it's not happened, and, and now they're taking charge and they're, they're just done with being patient, they're done with waiting. So it's either you go on board with them, get on board, or get out of their way. Um, while for others, this is... Just taking some time apart to figure out what each of you wants. Okay? Whatever this is, I am getting that it, it's necessary. It's necessary. For those of you, there's definitely um, relocation happening at this time. There's a sense of victory of getting what you want, especially when it comes to money or getting the property you wanted. Winning a bid or winning a, a competition of sorts, however that applies. Um, further, this is about a new job. A new job, maybe you have to travel for this role, or you even have to relocate for the role, for the job. 
it pays very well they may even help you relocate okay financially help you and again it's, it, it becomes a conversation when it comes to friends and family of this is what I'm doing you can either support me and get on board or I'm doing it anyway um, and further this is you know you're taking on this new role taking on this new job it is responsibility comes with, with responsibility the money matches that but then you kind of have to take a step back from your relationships because a lot you have to learn there's a lot of training that goes into it or you have to be traveling a lot and um, that's what takes you away from friends and family for those of you i'm definitely getting the sense of an intervention if you're dealing with someone who's got an addiction of any kind especially to do with drinking i do see the energy of an intervention here with a professional by your side, but definitely planning an intervention. Okay, so interesting message there, Capricorn. Let me know how it resonates for you. If it does, what you're up to, what you're dealing with. But I do hope the messages help if you're dealing with these energies. Remember to watch all your signs. Uh, use the energy, make the most of it, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.